Don't be so quick to give your attention to the girl. What I mean by this is that you should take your time when shifting your focus and attention from one thing to another and be incredibly present in what you're doing. When you're too quick to give others your attention and quick to jump from what you're doing to what somebody else wants you to do, it shows what you're doing isn't important or valuable, which can make you appear as though you're not valuable and what you do isn't important either. And if what you do isn't important, then people will just assume that you're not important or valuable as well. Don't be frantic. Don't come running when the girl asks for your attention and instead, you should have slowed and controlled movements that display your confidence, comfortability with the social situation you're in, and masculinity. Do talk loud and speak with the correct vocal tonality. When approaching or starting conversations with girls, guys will often self-sabotage themselves by opening the conversation with a really low voice. So this way, the girl won't hear them. And then they can use that as their excuse to eject from the interaction before it really even started. Avoid this at all costs. It's extremely tempting to half commit to an interaction when you first approach, but it's shooting yourself in the foot and is a cheap way of trying to say that you tried when you really didn't give a fair shake at all. Not only should you be talking loud and clear so she can hear you, but you also want to have the correct vocal tonality, the right phrasing, meaning you don't want to do that thing where it sounds like you're ending every sentence with a higher pitched voice as if you're asking a question. See what I mean? It sounds vague and she may think it's rhetorical and that's a fucking sinkhole you'll never get out of. You want to keep your tonality level and confident. Otherwise, you'll come off as uneasy and submissive to the girl and that's definitely going to turn her off. Do actually be willing to let other people be confident and have their part of the spotlight as well. Don't be someone that puts other people down because this comes from a place of weakness and insecurity. It shows that you're threatened by other people's positive qualities. A lot of guys try to put other guys down when they're in a social situation and it makes them look really bad. The guy who's nice, friendly, and open to other people, even other guys, is the one who shows the strongest frame control and strongest sense of security and confidence because He's so comfortable and confident in himself and his value that he doesn't need to threaten or need to out-alpha every other guy in the room. Do be able to stand and be okay with silence, and even be able to embrace it. I mentioned this in my video on how to deal with awkwardness, but here's the quick recap. If you're with a girl and there's a silence, being able to maintain strong eye contact and body language without looking away can be a real strong display of frame control and confidence because this shows the girl that you're comfortable with silence so you're secure in who you are and that you're not so flimsy that you're thrown off by the slightest bit of awkwardness. A rule I tend to follow is to maintain eye contact until the other person looks away. Looking away first or looking down can be a sign of insecurity and awkwardness, both of which will ruin your ability to show the girl that you're confident and a man who's secure in himself. Do find a personal style that suits your personality, body type, and the clothing and accessories you like to wear. One key accessory that any guy can wear to look more confident and feel more comfortable and badass in their sense of style is to rock a pair of sunglasses from our sponsor, Jade Black. Jade Black is a sunglass company started by my friend and fellow YouTuber, Jose, from Teaching Men's Fashion. Jade Black was started because they realized that finding high-quality stylish sunglasses was way too overpriced. Any decent quality pair of frames is easily over $150, which is a lot of money, especially if you're younger. With Jade Black, you can get a pair of polarized sunglasses for just $49, and when you use my discount code, they're even less than that. Tons of companies charge for premium or polarized lenses, but for Jade Black, polarized and high quality is their standard for every pair. Not to mention, Jade Black uses Italian acetate from the same manufacturer as brands like Gucci, Ray-Ban, YSL, and others. So you're getting a similar feel for a fraction of the price. And they even have free shipping inside the U.S. They also have a quiz on their site to help you pick the best pair of sunglasses for your face shape if you don't know which ones will complement your face the best. Sunglasses can play a key role in making you look badass and looking and feeling more confident. I highly recommend you check these out. I'll have them linked in the description. Don't kiss her ass and be a people pleaser. Be willing to disagree with her and have that be okay. Don't feel the need to convince her or others of what you're saying because it shows you're too insecure to let your results and actions speak for themselves and serve as proof. Confident people don't feel the need to suck up to people in order to make others like them. They're comfortable enough in themselves that they don't need to go out of their way to prove themselves or convince other people to like them. Do gesticulate. 
Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I get your fucking gesticulate right here. Gesticulation means talking with your hands and be willing to take up more space with your body. It shows comfort with your surroundings and willingness to open yourself up, something only a confident person would do. Animals often try to take up more space and make themselves look bigger to show a display of dominance. This is why taking up more space with your body and hand gestures make you appear more confident on the subconscious level. Do break the touch barrier. Someone who's uncertain of themselves will often have poor body language and do activities like hide their hands or comfort themselves by crossing their arms or rubbing their stomach and so on. Someone unconfident like this wouldn't even think of touching someone else because they don't even have control and comfort over their own body. Touching others shows confidence and they don't have it. Now, when I say you can playfully touch people, I don't mean you should manhandle and try to hulk people around. Keep it smaller and make it playful or flirty. And last but not least, don't have shitty posture. Posture is one of those important indicators of how you're feeling on the inside. So if you're hunched over and nervous on the inside, it'll easily be spotted from miles away on your outside. Just remember to stand straight and tall with your shoulders pinched back and chest out, and you'll be appearing 10 times more confident than if you weren't doing these small things. Hey, that's it for today's video. I'll have a summary on screen right now. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a godly like so YouTube knows you're digging the godly content. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, Jade Black. There's no better way to add some style points to your game and make yourself feel and look more confident than to throw on a dope pair of shades. Click the link and use the code in my description for a 10% discount. Zeus out.